Hello everybody, welcome to the Rock and Crystals channel. Today we are going to be talking about crystals for divination. Divination is the ancient art of revealing the future through various methods and forms. Uh, the reading of tea leaves or tarot cards uh, or scrying, for example, these are different forms of divination. Whichever method calls to you, incorporating the use of crystals can assist you, as they can also help to lend their metaphysical properties to your purpose. Here are 10 crystals for divination to help you in your practice. Obsidian. <clears throat> Obsidian has been the favorite choice of divination crystals for thousands of years. Its origin sits in the ancient Aztec civilization as Mayan prophets would gaze into its polished surface in the practice of scrying. In another method, water would be poured onto obsidian to find answers in the shapes that were left behind. An obsidian crystal ball would be ideal for divination, but you may also incorporate it into other methods. Amethyst is quite literally the stone of the third eye and of intuition. It calms the mind and helps you to tap into the spiritual uh, side of yourself whilst promoting a deeper connection with your higher self. Its color, of course, suggests its connection, that spiritual purple, uh, and that connection to the upper uh, chakras. <laughs> Clear quartz can benefit you in your divination practices as well in many ways, mainly by clearing out the mental clutter and augmenting psychic energies that you put into your craft. A clear quartz pyramid or a pointed wand works great when kept near your area of practice. Moonstone carries a strong lunar energy that can be borrowed and harnessed in many ways. In many parts of Asia, it is believed that a person uh, can divine a desired outcome by holding a piece of moonstone in their mouth on the full moon. Sounds exciting, right? If you do try it, just be careful of choking hazards. <laughs> and if just, you know, just be careful. If it does, <laughs> if it does, uh, you can utilize the stone's energy by incorporating it into your divination practice. So it is especially effective when uh, cleansed and charged under the moonlight. Lapis lazuli is another ancient stone that opens the third eye to promote visions and communicate with the divine. It is said when meditated with, it can provide you with the answers that you seek if you can only look inward long enough. Use this stone to enhance your intuition and connect with your higher self. Jasper is known to enhance one's mental state and assist in the thinking process. It's, it's, uh, it keeps one grounded during uh, your practice and while also protecting against outside influence and outside negative uh, frequencies. In the early history of the United States, Jasper was often used in many different divination practices. Labradorite is the stone of transformation that illuminates the darkness, allowing you to find those hidden truths uh, when the answers seem to evade. It's uh, the manifestation stone that helps you to harness your own inner power and to enhance your psychic abilities and assist in the visualization and well, insist in visualization, generally speaking. <laughs> Place Labradorite on your altar or wear it around your neck. Celestite. As the name suggests, it is a dreamy celestial stone that can open up your crown chakra and help you to find answers through your subconscious. It is the traveler's companion, assisting in the expansion of the mind in its most malleable state. If you seek prophetic dreams, keep this stone with you near under your pillow. Sodalite helps to balance the emotions and stabilize the mind to lessen distraction and interference during your practices. It strengthens intuition and enhances your natural psychic abilities whilst keeping you grounded. Keep this stone near your divination tool set. Selenite is directly connected to the crown chakra, helping you to expand the reaches of your higher mind and enhance your ability to visualize and peer into the future. It removes spiritual inhibitions and aligns all of your chakras so that every aspect of your being is connected to each other. 
Whether your favorite form of divination is scrying, consulting tarot cards, oh, by the way, we have just released the tarot reading course. Check that out in the uh, description area. Head on over to our website. Scroll down to the bottom of the website, and you can find the link to our tarot reading course. Uh, anyway, carrying on, tarot reading or flame reading, crystals can lend their energies to your cause. Place them on your reading surface or on your altar or hold in your hold them rather in your hands to help you find the answers that you seek. For best results when practicing, cleanse and charge your crystals before and after each use. You can win a crystal by leaving a comment and letting us know what you love about crystals. Also be subscribed to this channel. We give away a new crystal with every video upload. If you're looking to buy crystals, we have some amazing deals available at our crystal shop. Link in the description below. Grab yourself a free copy of the Crystal Compendium, which has over 250 crystal definitions. Link in the description below. Join our crystal affiliate program if you'd like to make money selling crystals. We pay a 22 2% commission for referred sales. Enroll in our crystal healing course. Link in the description below along with the link to our affiliate program and check out the Crystal Meanings app in both the App Store and Google Play Store for crystal meanings and definitions at your fingertip. It's absolutely free, pun intended. And of course, be subscribed to this channel because we learn something about crystals every single day. And who doesn't love learning about crystals? Okay, have a great day.